Well, yes, I, did you hear Snooki's pregnant? Snooki's pregnant. I'm always the last to know. Snooki is pregnant, and I'm doing this vlog to let everybody know I am not the father. That's it. I got the dog. Even he's asking me. This dog's a pain in the ass. I can tell you that. Any, am I, I am not the father of Snooki's baby. I'm letting you know. I know you've all been talking about it. You're reading it on the tabloids. I have nothing to do with getting Snooki pregnant. Now, Wow is another story. <laughs> anyway, she's pregnant. Mazel Tov to Snooki, the jail. Everybody's pregnant. Who the hell cares? You think I care? That, that, that's, Jesus Christ, the dog turned off the light on my... Forgot the, look at this here. I'm such a professional. <laughs> this is a wonderful... Terrific production. The dog, the toys, the hollering, my kid's bedroom. Will a production guy please get in touch with me? I have a lot to say. I went to the tweet all last night during The Bachelor. I had so much to say with those yentas hollering at each other. Anyway, oh, the dog won't leave me. Oh, I do hear what goes on. Well, production, I need a crew so I can have a normal, regular, be the YouTube star that I should. Look at this, the dog's barking, turns off the light, I gotta throw his toys around. Anyway, what the hell am I talking about? They're making a hundred grand a week. Everyone makes fun of Snooki, JWoww situation, whoever else, uh, Ronnie, the, the other guy with the crazy hair, uh, there was a DJ, I forgot his name. Everyone's making fun, laughing, they're making a hundred thousand dollars a week. A hundred thousand dollars an episode. <laughs> Is that how much you make? A hundred thousand? Make a book deals, merchandise deals, and make fifty thousand dollars an appearance in Las Vegas? Is that what you do? So <laughs> please, well, well, somebody get in touch with me. I'm, I'm a business partner, a production guy, so I can do normal blogs, have podcasts like Kevin Smith uh, and uh, whoever the hell else is doing podcasts and blogs. And look, I have to play with the dog. I gotta fix the light. I gotta talk about Snooky. Anyway, when I used to go to the Jersey Shore, uh, I never, I never had the action these kids get at the Jersey Shore. I, I'd like to have that kind of action. I, 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 I used to go to Atlantic City. I know it's not the same Jersey Shore. I had a wonderful time in Atlantic. City. I remember I was a kid in Atlantic City, and I had a friend of mine that used to go get tans all day. I'd get tans, tans, go to the tanning salon, sitting outside the, by the ocean, the beach with that, the, whatever that is. That sun, sun reflects that's a tan, tan, tan all over tans. But the one place you couldn't get a tan. Was a schmeckel. Couldn't get a tan on a schmeckel. He wanted a tan on a schmeckel. Because everything was tan. His face, his body, his legs. Except the schmeckel wasn't tan. Had to get a tan on a schmeckel. So one day, he lied on the beach and he covered himself up with sand. Covered his face, his body, his legs. Everything was covered but his schmeckel. Schmeckel sticking up out of the beach, out of the sand. That's the only thing that wasn't covered. Schmeckel sticking right up. Two old ladies walk by. One lady says, oh my God, look what I see. Her friend says, look, I want to tell you something. When I was in my 20s, they used to run after me. When I was in my 40s, I used to run after them. Now that I'm in my 80s, they're growing wild all over the beach. Go to BronsteinTV.com. Bronstein TV. See more crazy fun videos. Make a lot of cash with me. And if you want to be the next YouTube star, you get all the details at BronsteinTV.com. And subscribe to my channels and tell all your friends. This is the only channel you need to go to. The Bronstein's Rant and BronsteinTV.com. Goodbye.